Need You Tonight was one of a few songs that that, um, that were written for the Kick album, which in excess is a massively successful international album that we had out. And uh, I, I'm going to say this, you know, probably <laughs> to my own detriment, but those songs I wrote 34 years ago uh, with Michael and we had, uh, it was our, I think it was our sixth studio album being Kick. And we'd had, you know, quite a lot of success before that internationally with various songs as hits but you know we were on a on a tour bus in germany i think it was and we started talking about the next album because the album before that listen like thieves had a top five uh us hit in it called what you need and that was a massive hit for us and um uh worldwide as well and but we recognized that something was shifting gear for us as a band and people were really paying attention to what we were doing by fusing funk music with rock music. Wasn't a lot of people doing that back in 1985 when we were doing it. And, um, you know, disco had become very uncool by the end of the 70s. And even, you know, blues was disappearing a little bit more into the underground and, and more, you know, and people were getting in, insecure in the 80s about, well, what's next? And so then, you know, we would start doing more and more funk with rock. And, you know, like Run DMC did it with the Aerosmith song and Walk This Way and all the stuff they were doing. But when it came to Need You Tonight, I'd actually, uh, Michael was living in Hong Kong in those years and I was living in Sydney uh, on the, in the city back then. And uh, I we had permission, sorry, I, I got off track there, by the other guys in NXS to write all the songs for Kick, Michael and I, on a tour bus in Germany. And that still amazes me to this day because bands are usually very competitive and weird about the songwriting thing. You know, they all get really strange about it. And But the other guys in the band, my brothers and, and, and Gary and Kirk, said, no, we like you and Michael to write all the songs for Kick. Or well, we didn't know what the album was called yet. But we'd like you to write all the songs because you, we've had you guys have had the best track record of writing hits for an excess. And we said, sure, we'll do that. And we we're really blown away that you, you you're giving us a permission to do that. And they're like, yeah, go ahead and do it, but you better kick ass. And we're like, okay, <laughs> no pressure, right? no pressure, exactly. Well, the same with the record company and management and everything. We're like, no pressure. You just need a huge album, you know. Um, you know, <laughs> that's all. Uh, <laughs> That's all we want, you know. And uh, so and Michael and I took that very seriously. I remember when What You Need was a top five US hit, you know, and our, our you know, dearly departed manager, you know, back in those years, he recently passed away. He called me at home and he said, um, what do you make of having this enormous hit, you know, with What You Need? And I said, oh, it's great. And he goes, you should get out and, you know, get shit faced or do whatever you got to do and, you know, and, and I said, yeah, yeah, sure. Thanks for calling. Hang up the phone. And then I remember calling Michael saying, how do you feel about this? And he said, I kind of feel real weird about it. And I said, yeah, me too. And I, and I said, I don't know why I feel strange about it. I should be parting and you are and, you know. And he said, I think it's because what's next is the big question. What do you do next, you know? Um, and where I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking the same thing, you know. And so that's why I started steering some stuff on uh, uh, Need You Tonight musically. Um, I'm trained a little bit classically as a musician, uh, you know, and I, I obviously I sing a bit, but I've never been the singer that Michael was and probably never will be, uh, but he never played instruments. Uh, his voice was his instrument and he was a great lyricist. Uh, I write lyrics too, but he, his passion in his lyrics always impressed me. And so uh, that's the way we worked a lot. You know, he'd write lyrics and come up with some lines, you know, uh, and some melody ideas. And I would mainly write the music, including feels. And um, so it fell to me to sort of work more on this funk thing. And so I, I, I actually, I called a cab to go to work and write with Michael in Hong Kong. And then as the cab was coming and I was going to catch an aeroplane, it was all very pressurized. Um, the cab literally turning up, driving up to the front gate. And I started working on what became Need You Tonight on this eight track tape recorder. And I had a drum machine pattern and that ended up on the record. And these, I put this sort of sample bass thing on it and I had, had these guitar riffs going and I'm going, uh, uh, <laughs> 
this is really important. I don't know what I'm doing exactly. I don't know what this thing is, but I think it's important. And so I ran out to the cab driver and said, can you just wait for a minute? I, I, I'll be right back. And, uh, and it got really complicated all of a sudden where I was in this emotional anxiety because I suddenly recognized that I think musically what I was doing was really important um, and that I had to keep going with it. At the same time, I had a flight to catch. So in the end, uh, in those years, I just bounced it down onto a cassette to a rough recording, literally just shut the front door. I don't even know if I turned anything off in the house and jumped in the, in, in the cab and went to the airport with my passport, you know, in this cassette with these other songs I had on it. And um, I got off the cab at the other, you know, the plane, excuse me, at the other end in Hong Kong. And I drove to the Watson Cedar estate where I was working with Michael in, in China. And, um, and Michael said, um, what do you got? What, you know, what have you been working on? And I played him. That was the first thing I played him. He goes, love that. It's cool. So we had a 24 track tape recorder and he basically just sang a song into this within five minutes of me being there. He scribbled this lyric out. And basically the melody that you hear and the lyric that he sung on Nietzsche Tonight was formed by me from that 10 minutes or so before I got in the cab and him with that five or 10 minutes when I, I arrived, that was how that song came together. Don't ask me how that happened because it's bizarre. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, really weird. 